Good morning, y'all. Good morning, you beautiful bastards. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? I hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, Sunday. We're rolling on. Where, uh, where am I? I'm not really sure where I'm at. Um, I know I went through... Marshall, Texas, about probably 25 minutes ago. So I'm north of Marshall, Texas. I'm on US 59, heading north. Heading to Russellville, Kentucky. Got a load uh, going to Logan Aluminum. I picked up yesterday in Conroe, Texas. And uh, it's pallets of baled aluminum cans, like scrap aluminum cans that are like all baled together. Pick it up from a, a place that makes cans in uh, Conroe. So it's like, it's like eight pallets. It's not a very heavy load at all. It's only about 27,000 pounds. So not a, not a bad load. this load off on Monday morning. We should be we should be up there by about let's see what time is going to at it about 745 this morning. And uh, I should be there by like 5 p.m. 5 30 this evening. The only bad thing is I gotta go uh, Memphis, about 40, meaning I have to go through the um, chaos that is the detour because of the whole bridge situation, which they just said isn't going to be open until like, I think August, late August, so that sucks, but anyway, that'll be fine. Then we got a load going to McDonough, Georgia. Good week, not too bad. You know, we, I feel like I recovered pretty well after uh, a little mishap leaving out. You know, everything that happened with the airbag and whatnot. So, but anyways, so I want to talk to y'all about some stuff I dealt with yesterday. Yesterday was a very eventful day. Uh, some good, some bad. But you know, I talked about having to get a dash cam. And uh, we're going to talk more about that. That's, this is going to kind of go in with that a little bit. We're going to kind of talk. I'm going to tell you a little story like what happened to me yesterday. And we're going to talk about see what I learned when I first started driving. Um, something called CYA or cover your ass. Uh, it was something I was taught before I even stepped foot in the truck. Uh, some of y'all know I've mentioned it before. I, I got my CDL um, through rail transport with their... Uh, CDL program uh, and the first thing they taught us was cover your ass so um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about CYA um, after I tell you all this story and kind of what it has to do with it so well, let's get into this <laughs> so you know, I've talked before I had a load going to Houston Texas uh, delivering a South Point Coca-Cola down there in Houston. This load uh, was a load of smart water. It was pallets of smart water, uh, of cases of smart water. There was about 22 pallets. They were stacked. I'll go ahead and tell y'all, they were stacked um, side by side. So two pallets in rows of two pallets. So two, like starting from the front of the trailer, two pallets, and there's a little space of two pallets, and a little space, two pallets, and a little space, two pallets, and, and the whole way back to the trailer, right? So they're all stacked side by side down the trailer. That's important information. Uh, so I get there, I check in with the guard, I pull in, I open my doors, I look at the trailer, everything looks great. 
nothing is shifted, nothing is messed up, everything looks good. That's as far as I went with that. It just looked, everything looked good. Went inside, checked in with the clerk. This clerk was the biggest pain in my ass that I have ever dealt with. Um, probably my entire time of trucking. Like when it comes to like pulling the shippers and receivers, probably one of the biggest pains in my ass. And I wasn't the only driver that dealt with this. Or dealt had to deal with her and being a pain in my ass. Or a pain in an ass, I guess. You get the idea. So, I check in and she tells me, put my name and phone number on one of the VOLs. I do that. And I'm back. She gets mad that I did not put them on both of the BOLs. After she told me to put them on one of the BOLs. So I write it on the other ones, whatever. Then she tells me, okay, pull in the next available door. I was like, just next available door, y'all have two open, just pull in one of those. I said next available door. Okay. Thank you. And I, I believe she doesn't tell me to slide my tandem, doesn't tell me to do anything else, right? So I pull one of the doors. And I get out, and usually when I'm back into a door, I'll, after I have to get back, get back in, I'll check and make sure I'm, you know, not too off or I'm, you know, up against all the way or whatever, right? Well, then I start hearing her yell, you too low, you too low. And she sounded like Venezuela off of Family Guy, like the little Mexican housekeeper lady. That's how she sounded. She kind of looked like her too. Um, except not as fat. She wasn't as fat as Venezuela. But she sounded just like her. You too low, you too low. It was kind of funny. But, uh, I... And then she's like, why did you not slide your tandems back? Why did you not slide your tandems? And she would always repeat herself. Like, she keeps saying it's the same thing over and over before I even had a chance to answer. Like, well, you didn't tell me to slide my tandems back. And, you know, if you're a truck driver, you're probably, you're probably watching this. You know that most places, they will tell you if they want you to slide your tandems. Or they'll have something somewhere stating that you need to slide your tandems. Typically, they try to make you do it before you even enter the facility. So, you know, in a lot of places, they'll, you know, they'll tell you whether they want you to do it or not. Some places don't want you to, some places do. So she didn't say nothing, so I didn't do it, right? So then, she's bitching about it, so I, I slide my tandems all the way to the back, right? Well, she's still saying, you're too low, you're too low. So I ended up having to drop my airbags, you know, kind of teeter-totter, you know. Get the idea. All right, so I do that. And um, she was giving the same shit to another guy. He's like, what am I supposed to do? Like, um, you know, just, yeah, like, you know, he's like, why didn't y'all tell, tell us to do this stuff beforehand? Like, you know, like, how are we supposed to know, right? So, so like I said, every place is different, so hard to know sometimes, right? Well, I feel I'm starting to unload my trailer. I'm fixing to eat, uh, eat some breakfast. And then I get a phone call. And she says, you spilled the pallet in the trailer. You need to come deal with it. And I was like, what? That man looks perplexed. Nice truck, though. Um, anyways, so she keeps telling me, and she says again, you spilled the pallet in the trailer. You need to come deal with it and figure out what you're going to do. I'm like, I didn't spill a pallet, but I'll come in and look and see what the deal is. So I come in, and there's a pallet knocked over inside the trailer. It's not up against the wall. Because like I said, the back two were all the way up against the wall. It's more towards the middle. And like I said, they were all, and like I said, they were all still pretty much nearly in a damn straight road. This one was like almost like to the right hand, like was like in the middle almost. Not, not exactly, like it was a little off, but I could tell that the pallet was not where the other one moved because you couldn't have had a pallet on either side. 
right? You get the idea? So, I was like, and I can see that the saran wrap had been torn. Um, and it's the way the pallet was set. I can tell that it was not something I did. There's just no way. Like I said, forward information, they were all stacked side by side. Two, space, two, space, two. Get the idea. All right, so. And this one was almost like to the side. Like you couldn't have even put a pallet on either side of it almost. Or you could have put a pallet on one side of it, but just there's no way, right? Like I said, I even got in the trailer and looked beforehand. So, I was like, I, I argued, but I'm like, I didn't do that. That, that, that is your form of God right here. He says he didn't do it, so it wasn't him. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and it tells me, I have to call my broker or my company and call and get them to pay for the lumber. Or they're going to put everything back on the trailer and reject the entire load. Are you fucking serious? So I call, and I call my my DM, and I tell him what's going on. And he sounded annoyed from the get-go. Like, from what I understand, they've had some problems with this place um, already. Like some certain things they wanted you to do. Like they already wanted you to like scan your bills before you got there, and um, scan them again when you left with your in and out times and different things. So. I can tell that you know they've had a problem with this place. And he tells me, all right, we'll go get the lumber information. So I go back in and she says, oh no, we don't have a lumber. You have to pay to have one come out here on Monday. But in the meantime, um, if that's what you're gonna do, we're gonna load the trailer back up. But when you come back Monday, we could reject the load. Which is not what she told me the first time. So I call him back again. I'm like, okay, well now she's saying this. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, he's like, like he's sad, he's like, I'm like, she's telling me that. And then she also mentioned that, um, or I could uh, restack the pallet. It was one pallet. Call it one, it's right. So, <laughs> I'm like, am I even allowed to do that? And he's like, yeah. He's like, let us know. That way we can pay you for it. <sighs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. And I had another load I needed to go pick up, so I ended up getting in that trailer, and she sh and, and restacked it myself. She, uh, her and the forklift operator showed me how to stack it. They told me how it needed to be stacked, right? So I, I stacked it like they told me to stack it, and when I got done, I had three cases left. And she said, you didn't stack it right, you have to restack it. And I fuck. Oh, I was ready to slap a bitch. I swear to God, I was. <laughs> I was ready to slap a bitch. Like you fucking told me to stack it this way. This is how you said it had to be stacked, or it wouldn't gonna, or you guys wouldn't take it. Dumbass. So I had to go and restack the whole fucking thing again, and this time I did it my way, and it was right. The way I was trying to stack it. So I was looking at the other case. Um. Of one of the ones I already took out. So, I ended up having to stack this uh, pilot twice. I got done, I was soaking wet. I mean, from top to bottom, I was soaking wet sweating. I was pissed off. It wasn't a fun time. It was probably the most athletic I've been in a couple of years, easily, when it comes to lifting shit. No, not really, but it was a lot of work. Um, <laughs> so, I definitely will not be going back there. Um, I've talked to a couple other drivers that said, yeah, we've basically had the same problem. Um, they'll, you know, they'll fuck something up and blame it on us. And um, I guess a lot of, I guess we have a lot of drivers that won't go there anymore. Um, that have a lot of, a lot of problems with the place. So, if you're a USA driver, watch out for that. But, uh, yeah, pain in the ass. Big pain in the ass. So, then she, when I got done, she was like, You're all good to go. Have a nice day. It was all nice and stuff after that. And I was like, I grabbed my bills and said, Y'all just fuck off. 
and walked out. I got, I'm usually a very polite, respectful person, but I had, like, how are y'all gonna fuck something up and blame it on me and then tell me I have to fix it or you're rejecting the whole load? So. But, anyways, there was that. Um, also, real quick, other good news. I did um, finally get to try Whataburger. Like, I've wanted to try Whataburger since I was like 12. And I finally got to have it. And holy shit, I know why they call it Whataburger. Because what a fucking burger, dude. Jesus, that shit was good. And it was huge. It was great, great, great experience. 11 out of 10 easily. So, there was good that came out of the day yesterday. But it was eventful. Um, had a guy damn near hit my trailer. Like, I heard him have to, I heard him have to lock his brakes up because he wasn't paying attention to the stoplight. So, anyway, so now we're going to talk. <laughs> I got that out of the way. We're going to talk about the, the CYA part of it and how to cover your ass in a situation like that. Here's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start taking pictures. When I get loaded, and I did it with this load. Which, I mean, this one ain't a big deal, but loads like that. Um, when I, before, I, when I get loaded, and when I go to get unloaded, when I open those doors, I'm gonna take pictures. If I gotta climb back there and take pictures, I will. I won't do that shit again. You know, because there's things you take pictures on your phone. They're gonna have a. If you go in your, uh, you click on the picture, and you go into your, like, you can click. Uh, uh, like your settings on that picture, like delete or to send or whatever typically. Well, you can also go to info and it'll show the date, the time, um, and the date, time, and location. So, it's a good way to cover yourself in, uh, in a situation like that. That's something I'm unfortunately going to have to start doing because I'm, like I said, I'm sure as hell not doing that shit again. So that is one way to do it. You know, like I said, another way, you know, talking more about CYA, the dash cam, dude. Like, there are so many idiots out here. Like, I've got some shit on this dash cam already. I would love to pull off there and post on YouTube. Just people being fucking stupid. Like, you know, we talk about the stupid shit you see in um, retail work or like fast food or whatever. I've done those, I've done those jobs, you know, in my past, but, well, you think you see stupid then? No, 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 no. You want to see stupid? Become a truck driver. That's advanced stupid. So, that was a little story on that, um, you know, as a truck driver, you've got to, you've got to cover yourself got to cover your ass at all times um, when it comes to not only the maybe if you're a company driver the company you pull for but you got to cover for insurance uh, cops um, brokers shippers receivers and every other asshole out on the road you know you got to make sure you, you know cover your ass make sure your paperwork's right you know make sure you know Make sure you're keeping your uh, your permits and all that up to date, and all your documents up to date. Make sure you're uh, doing your logs like you got to. Make sure you're verifying them and shit, right? Just some of it, you know. You go to a shipper or receiver. Make sure you get a signature. Make sure you can easily read their name. You know, verify your seal. Get a dash cam. Like I said, get a dash cam. Um, you know. So, just, you gotta watch yourself. You really do. It's in the best interest of you, your company, and those around you. So, you know, you can't really let your guard down out here, and it sucks, you know? Especially, like, now, you know? sucks, but that's enough rambling on. 
Like I said, I was a little pissed off yesterday. That was some bullshit. Here's the thing, like I said, I'm, I'm a forklift operator, so I, I've, I've done that exact thing before, as far as like pulling a pallet and then ripping the other one and knocking it over. But I never tried to blame it on the freaking truck driver. Like, I fuck up, I fuck up. Like, not a big deal. So. Oh shit, there's a cab over back there. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I was was getting a little long. I'll cut it out. So like I said, cover your ass. Remember to cover your ass. Dash cams, proper documentation, paperwork. Take pictures if you got to. Do whatever you gotta do to make sure your ass is covered. It can cost you like, a lot of money. So, I hope you guys have a good day. Y'all be safe out there. And, uh, I appreciate those who, you know, watch. That means a lot, you know. I hope I help some of y'all out, so. You got anything else you want to see? Anything you got to know? So, I hit me up. And, uh, that's about it. So, if y'all would, like, share, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, y'all.